welcome back. Um, this is another video looking at some of my uh, coloured and multicoloured bootleg records uh, from what's left in my collection. Um, before I start, we're looking at a few Stones albums today. Before we do that, um, in the last video, uh, I had a little bit of a rant against uh, the semi official uh, vinyl albums that are coming out. Uh, particularly Genesis. Um, uh, I've since got the, uh, the ones that I was talking about. Um, so I'll just show you basically. Uh, I mean, it's it's great that somebody's bringing out a live lamp show on vinyl. Uh, this is it. So this is volume one. It's a double album with a gatefold sleeve. And if I show you volume two. Get a double album, okay, full sleeve. So ostensibly they're nice things to have, um, but you've got a black and white photograph which has been enlarged, it's very grainy. Um, it's all a bit dull. So I'll show you the back. Nothing at all except for the songs. I'm going to show you inside. Uh, that writing there is exactly the same. And that writing there. So the only difference on the inside is the tracks. Uh, the black vinyl albums, I haven't played them yet. Supposed to be very good quality, <coughs> um, and uh, you know you can get them for twenty quid at the moment, twenty quid each. That's forty quid for a complete show over four LPs. But uh, the bit I just brought us this a couple of years ago, um, which is the Shrine Auditorio uh, complete show radio broadcast, super quality. Uh, so you've got the proper Genesis logo, attractive font, beautiful coloured photograph, pin sharp, glossy instead of matte black. And then on the reverse, again, lovely information, beautifully laid out, attractive fonts, colourful photograph of the Lama, Lamia. Um, and it is a gatefold sleeve as well. And a nice live shot of the band. Only black vinyl, but beautiful vinyls. Now that's probably going to cost you more than 40 quid to buy now, but I rest my case, shall we say. <laughs> um, anyway. <coughs> just to show you what we've got on the back, we're just we'll do a mixture of things on display. We've got Tales from the Who. Uh, that's the um, uh, the TMQ coloured vinyl version, uh, which isn't the first pressing. Um, I'm going to do a special on these maybe next time because um, it's just a classic album, a fantastic cover, uh, etc. Uh, Pink Floyd Live Eclipsed, which was a double album, came out in the 70s, combination of um, uh, In Celebration of the Comet and Floyds of London. So you've got the Dark Side tracks on one album and uh, the metal stuff on the other, BBC broadcasts. And then that one is uh, Genesis Romeo and Juliet. That is an extremely rare blue vinyl version. There's only 150 made. Uh, it's the only version that has a further fifth on it. So if you want a bonus track on a single album, then, uh, that's the one to try and find. The more common ones are red vinyl. Um, and then here is uh, Bruce Grand Finale. Um, we'll probably do a special on. Uh, on that 
that's six LPs, multicoloured, splatter vinyls, uh, Meadowlands Arena 85, um, and just a, a very, very special thing. Okay, so <coughs> just got a few stones, uh, just, I think we've got four, four stones titles here, just different, uh, different colour vinyls. Start off with a title from the 80s, the Stones at the Beep. Not sure whether that was a deliberate uh, misprint. If you can have such a thing as a deliberate misprint. Um, so it's BBC radio sessions from 63 to 65. This came out in 86. Great material, and good quality. So the first record is marbled red and purple. We've got this dancing uh, guitar, guitar playing. Rat or whatever he is, which we've seen on some other pressings, I think. So it's just a really attractive attractive record. And the other discs, uh, same again, same labels. bit more swirly maybe. Got some blues, reds, purples. Very nice. Obviously the, uh, the BBC tracks have been uh, issued countless times, um, but the time has came out, probably quite a sought after, sought after material. Uh, the second one is um, it's Chuck Berry, Keith Richard and the Rolling Stones. There's an album called Let It Rock. So this has basically got uh, stuff with Chuck Berry from the Ritz 1982 where Keith Richards played in his band. As a side with stone stuff from 63 through to 78. It says a vinyl gang production. Whether it's anything related to the vinyl gang CD label, I don't know. So it's quite a it's quite a scarce album to find. But even scarcer if you can get the coloured vinyl version. So, first LP, spectacular red with bright blue and black splatter, and our dancing rats there again. assumes it's from the same stable as the stones at the beep. It's just beautiful. The second disc 
some watercolour splatter on a clear background. So we've got white, blue, red and black splatters. Don't know how many of these were made. There's nothing on it to say special vinyl, but uh, so I've seen it in black vinyl, I've never seen another copy of it in coloured vinyl. Okay, so the next one is Stones in the Park. Another 80s release. Uh, was it Hyde Park free concert? Uh, July 69. Uh, so it's got that's printed, not stamped, that's a printed cover the front, and then there's a nicely detailed insert. It says uh, uh, it refers to previous releases and says none of these albums present the complete concert. This album makes the entire concert available for the first time ever. It was made for you, the collector, except no copies or rip-offs. <coughs> so we have no idea of any, if there's any truth in that, whether there had been any complete releases of this before on vinyl. So this is a lovely it's got black, brown, yellow, red and grey splatter on a white background. So it's got special printed labels for the album, Stones in the Park. So a little bit more colour showing up on this one. Gorgeous. Okay, and then just finally, uh, we've got I think when I was showing you my swinging pigs, I uh, got a, a Philadelphia double, original swinging pig of the stones. Well, this is the same show on a different label. Uh, sort of an anonymous label actually, but um, this came out, this came out in the 80s. May have been before the swinging pig one. Gatefold sleeve, deluxe printed, uh, black and white. Um, it says it's the entire recording. I'll show you the inside. Black and white again, but uh, nice photographs. First disc is 
succulent. Want to colour splatter on red. These have got uh, printed labels with photographs of the stones on stage and sides A and B printed on the label. So uh, I prefer this probably to the singing pig just purely because the vinyl is that much nicer. They complement each other, you want to keep both. And sides C and D are the same. Beautiful. So just just a little run through a few more of my stones. And um, next time, or uh, sometime soon, I'm going to do a, a special special video on talking about the Tales from the Who album and another Stones title with a William Stout cover um, which was this one so, classic album so we'll have a couple of those to look at next time so thanks for joining me and uh,